In this question, we're told a Coast Guard station O monitors the movements of ships in a channel. At noon, the station's radar records two ships moving with constant speed. Ship A is at the point with position vector minus 5i plus 10j kilometres relative to O and has velocity 2i plus 2j kilometres now. Ship B is at the point with position vector 3i plus 4j kilometres and has velocity minus 2i plus 5j kilometres now. In part A it says given that two ships maintain these velocities show that they collide. In the last video we considered the vector AB. That was given to be B relative to A. In this particular question I'm going to solve this slightly differently to show you another technique. Let's consider the position vector of both of these ships at time t hours afternoon. So what we've got then is r is equal to r naught plus vt. This tells me where I end up is equal to where I started plus velocity multiplied by time. So for a, the position of a now is going to be given as where we started, and I'm going to put this in column form, now as minus 5, so we're going to have minus 5, 10. That is the position vector now where it started. Plus now some multiple where t is our scalar now of this velocity vector 2, 2. You can of course write this now in i and j notation, and that's given as kilometres. If we consider now the position vector of B, t hours afternoon, we're going to start at 3, 4, plus now some multiple, t, and then we're going to have minus 2, 5 kilometres. So they are now two expressions for the positions of these two ships, t hours after midday. So if these now collide, we can say that I components will be equal. So I components, and we'll write this here, and J components, let's just scribble this down, J components will be equal if there is a collision. So if they collide. And let's just write something down here, if they collide. Okay, so let's consider the following. What we want now is a common value of T. So if we consider the I components, we're going to have now minus 5 plus 2t. They are now the i components for a. For b, we're going to have 3 minus 2t. So if we go ahead and solve this, we can add 2t to both sides. 4t and add the 5 will be equal to 8. Therefore, t will be equal to 2. That tells me in the, the i components of these two ships will be the same at now t is equal to 2, which is going to be 2 p.m. Let's now consider the j components. So let's just write here i. And now let's consider the j components. So what we've got then is 10 plus 2t will be equal to 4 plus now 5t. So what does that lead us now? That leads us subtracting the 4 from both sides. 6 subtracting the 2t is equal to 3t. So we can see again t is equal to 2. So what we've got then is a common value of t and that's 2. Therefore we can say now that this is going to be 2pm or 1400 hours. So that now is where uh, the, the time which uh, they collide. So uh, it says show that they collide. So t is going to be equal to 2. Now we could sub this into both of these to show. Now if you were asked where they collide, all you're doing is letting t be equal to 2. So if I consider letting t be equal to 2, we can see that the position of b is going to be 3 plus now minus 4, which is going to give me minus 1. And then if t is going to be equal to 2, that's going to give me 10, so that's going to be 14. So we can say that these collide now at minus i plus 14j kilometres. OK, so that's where it works. And we can see if we sub that into this one, we will get exactly the same. We're now told the Coast Guard radio ship A and orders it to reduce its speed to move with a velocity of i plus j kilometres an hour. Given that A obeys this order and maintains this new velocity, in part B we need to find an expression for the vector AB at time t hours afternoon. So this is another way of solving this first bit. So let's now consider the following. Let's consider the position of A. So what we're going to have then is the following. We're going to have RA will be equal to where we started. So we started now at 
minus 510 plus now t multiplied by the new velocity vector of 1, 1. So what we've got now is rb. rb is going to remain the same. We've got 3, 4 plus now t multiplied by minus 2, 5. Now if we wanted, we could write this as ra will be equal to t, and I'm just going to write this to avoid writing the negative first, t minus 5i, so I'm writing this now in i and j form, plus now 10 plus tj kilometres. If we consider rb, and this is again putting this now in i and j form, we're going to have 3 minus 2ti, and let's just put that on, plus now, and we're going to have 4 plus 5tj kilometres. Now, what we're looking for is the vector AB. So if we write this down, the vector AB, now at t, uh, t, uh, t hours afternoon, is going to be equal to B minus A. And we saw this in the last video. So vector AB is B minus A. So what we're going to have then is AB, and I'm simply going to now subtract this away. So what we're going to have here is the following. And looking at the t's first, I'm going to have a minus 2t minus t, which is minus 3t. Then I'm going to have 3 minus minus 5. So we're going to have 8 minus 3ti. And then we're going to have now on here, if we subtract this away, we're going to have now 4t minus 6j. So 4t minus 6 j and that's going to be kilometers and that is now the vector a b t hours afternoon okay we now need to find the following we need to find the three significant figures the distance between a and b at 1400 hours so what we can say then at 1400 hours or 14 let's just put 1400 hours t will be equal to 2 therefore what we can say then is a b and let's write this down a b will be equal, if I sub in 2 here, we're going to have now 8 minus 3 lots of 2 is going to be 2i, and then we're going to put uh, the 2 in here, which is going to give me now plus 2j kilometres. Now, what we're looking for is the modulus. We're looking for the distance. So all I've done is subbed in 2 here. So 8 minus 6 is 2. Uh, then we've got 8 minus 6 is going to be 2. So what we can say then is the modulus. And we write this like so. This is the distance between them. Will be the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. So that's going to give me now the root of 8 or 2 root 2. And we can evaluate that and get that now in a calculator. So that is root 8 or 2 root 2. So that's going to be about 2.8, 2.9. So if we put this in a calculator, so 2 root 2, or if you like root 8, what do we end up with? Uh, 2.828. So what do they want it to? They want it to three significant figures. So what's it going to be? 2.83. So it's going to be 2.83. So we can say now that's going to be 2.83 kilometres. So that now is the distance between these two ships at the time 1400 hours. In part D, we need to find the time at which B will be due north of A. So let's just sketch this up. Often these can be quite confusing. So what we can say then is the following. If B is due north of A, and let's just draw this up, let's put B. So B is just here, and then A is just here. So what we've got then, let's just check we've done that right. So it's due north of A. So B is due north of A. Now if we looked at this on a coordinate axis or using I and J notation, it doesn't matter here really what these values of the J components are. All we can see now is if this is due north, on here the I components must be equal. So let's consider the following. We can say if B is due north, and we'll write this here, due north of A, and I'm scribbling here, uh, hopefully, I mean, it doesn't look like I'm writing what I should be. We can say I components, so I components are equal. So let's consider now the I components. We've seen now that the I components are given to be these two right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've written these now, and you can see it probably easier in the I and J notation. What we can say then is T minus 5, and let's write this here. The I components are, uh, are equal. Uh, why have I put naught there? Are equal. Um, 
let's put our equal, don't want nor there, and we can put this in. So what we can say then is 5 minus t, just sub it outside, t minus 5 is equal to 3 minus 2t. So t minus 5 is equal to 3 minus 2t. So that gives me now 3t will be equal to 8. So we can say that t is equal to 8 over 3. Now, if we consider this, this is 2 and 2 thirds of an hour. So t is equal to 2 and 2 thirds an hour, which is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, I'm just converting that. Uh, so 8 thirds is uh, 6 over 3, which is 2, 2 thirds. So it's 2 hours, 40 minutes. Therefore, what we're going to have then, if we consider this, this is going to give me now, and this is t hours after midday. So if we consider the question is after midday, if I simply add this on, I'm going to end up now with 14, and then that's going to be 14, 40 hours. So all I've done now is said that if b is due north of a, the i component's going to be equal. In the same way, if we considered now the following, if we said that uh, B was due, let's say B was due west, okay? So B was due west of A. Let's put here, let's check this out. So if B was just here, okay, let's put B here, and we were asked now B due west of A, and we wanted now a time for that, B due west of A, so time when this happens. Let's consider this. We can see that in terms of the i components, it doesn't matter, but this j component would be equal. So if we look at this now, what we could do is find that and, and see if we could solve that equation from here. So we're asked now when it's going to be uh, due north. If we wanted to find when it was due west, we could simply set these equal. So in that case, what we'd have now, to see if there's a value, 10 plus t will be equal to 4 plus 5t. So from this, we could say 6 was equal to 4t, and then 3 over 2 would be equal to t. So that's one and a half hours. So we could say that this was going to be 13.30 hours. If that's now t hours after midday, we could say that b was due west of a at that point. So we're told afternoon, um, and that, that's essentially what we do. Um, so these are equal, and in this case, if it's due west, the j components are equal, and you just set them equal given now that we've got these two position vectors. So there we go, a bit more work, um, slightly more involved. I'm going around these quite a long way to try and get some of the key learning points in, but in an exam you can slim this work down, but essentially this is what we should be aiming to get.